Hey guys, this is Amber with Story Chasing, and today I want to talk to you about Jackery and my experience with Jackery over the last two years of using their Jackery 500, their 1000, and today this 1500 Jackery portable power station. Make sure you stay till the end of this video because I'm going to tell you how this Jackery 1500 was a lifesaver for me while I was on the East Coast last year traveling full time in my van and all the power went out in this van right here and I was still able to save my trip by using this Jackery. It's unbelievable guys. You may not even need solar panels or any of that stuff on your van or an expensive solar setup if you have a Jackery. The whole reason I'm putting this video together is for people who are out there like you who might be looking for a Jackery or some kind of portable power station. And this way you're gonna be able to see from somebody who's been using it for the last couple of years, how I've used it, what I've used it with, what I've powered things with, and how I've put it through its paces. Real quick too, Jackery did partner up with me on this video. As I said before, I've been using the Jackery for over two years now, and I will not promote or align my brand with any company that I don't personally use and can't get 100 percent behind. Just want you to know that going forward if this is your first time to my videos and if it is, welcome. So over the last couple of years, here's how I've been using the Jackery. The biggest way that I use the Jackery is to have a backup power source for my already existing house batteries on my van. The reason why I need this backup system is because I only have 200 watts of solar on top. Now I have 400 amp hours of lithium batteries, but just really not enough solar panels on top to cover my extreme needs to charge all of my equipment. If I'm driving a lot during the day or we have a ton of solar energy coming in, which doesn't always happen in the winter time, Jackery Power Station is my backup for that. The other way that I use my Jackery is at night. I don't have any solar coming in at night. So so what I like to do is let all my house batteries charge during the day, let my Jackery charge during the day, and then because I'm in kind of a hot area right now, I tend to leave the fantastic fan on, I leave my USB fans charging and on at the same time, sometimes my inverter will be on throughout the night, and so I allow those things to drain the house batteries and then use my Jackery to power my laptop while I'm working at night or any other external equipment that I'm using at night so I'm not completely draining my house batteries. As I was saying before, I charge a lot of my equipment too. So I charge my camera equipment. I'm also charging my laptop with that pure sign technology. I'm also charging my USB fans. I have an e-bike that I charge as well. Also charge my hotspot devices so that those are charged up all throughout the day because I run an online business and I wanna make sure that my hotspot is working 24 seven. I also use it to charge my Dyson vacuum. Yep, I own a Dyson vacuum in my van. It's easy and it cleans all the carpets and the floor. I even have a small portable freezer that can also act as a refrigerator. I can charge that into the DC power of the Jackery and it works beautifully all day long. So next are the things that I absolutely love about my Jackery. One of the things that I really love about Jackery is the pure sign technology that it uses to charge my laptop, which is really important. You want clean energy charging your devices. It's reliable. I've never had any issues with it. It just seems to work. I've had other brands send me their batteries and it just doesn't hold up to Jackery. This is the one that I always keep coming back to. As I was saying before, it's a great backup emergency use for power if something goes out in your house or your RV. The other thing is it's really easy to use. Everything is right here at your fingertips. It's very well laid out. You just don't have to think about it. Another thing that I like about the Jackery is that the ventilation for the fans on the Jackery are on the sides, which means I can put my Jackery power station right here on my bench with the back of the Jackery facing the bench seat where it's nice and snug, and I don't have to worry about the Jackery overheating if I'm powering anything or charging anything from it. I also love that there's no fumes, there's no noise, and it's no maintenance like your standard gas generators. I don't have many dislikes about Jackery, but I have a few. So one of them is this handle right here. I don't like it because it's not that it's not sturdy. It's very, very sturdy and you're not going to have any issues picking it up and thinking everything's going to fall apart. It's very, very well constructed. However, because I live in a van, space is at a premium in this place. So I would really like this to be flat with a handle that kind of pops up 
that's flush with this mount right here so that I can stack stuff on top of it. It's too heavy for me to put on top of other things when I travel. So generally I would put stuff on top of it instead to maximize the space that I have in my van. But because of this handle, I can't really do that. So I wish Jackery would change that one. The other thing that I dislike about the Jackery is that the cord from the solar panel to the actual Jackery power station itself is too short in my opinion. It seems really, really long when you first look at it, but usually I wanna keep my Jackery power station here inside while it's charging because if I put it outside in the elements, it's subject to sun getting on it and being really, really hot, which you don't want for the battery. Two, if I'm in a sandy area, which I am these days around the beach, sand and wind and dirt and dust and everything can get into the jockery and I would really just prefer to have it inside and then string the cord from outside to the solar panels to the power station. The solar panels actually have to be really close to the RV in order for the cord to properly fit inside and connect to the power station. So I'd really like to see that power cord a little bit longer. One of the biggest questions I get also is what can you power with the Jackery and what are its limitations? On this particular Jackery, it's an 1800 watt pure sign inverter lithium battery power station. That's a huge mouthful, but it's got a lot packed into this small little box. You wouldn't want to power anything that's over 1800 watts with this inverter. Same thing if you had a Jackery 500 or a Jackery 1000. You want to look at how many watts can that Jackery power and then don't go over that. So 1800 is quite a bit. I've been able to power a curling iron, a hair dryer, a curling iron, and a hair dryer all at once. I've been able to power my laptop. I've been able to power USB fans. I can charge my e-bike with the Jackery. You can charge and power your CPAP machines if it's, of course, under 1800 watts. I've also been able to power my juicer on it. I even have a nomad friend who uses his really small 500 Jackery to power his TV and an Xbox to game at any point in time that he wants to. Now it's gonna drain the battery a lot quicker when you put that much of a load on it. But the good news is that you can look up at the display of the Jackery and see how many more watts you have left in order to keep powering that device. I've been living in my van for four years now, but I've been on the road for over five years. And this Jackery portable power station saved my life last year when I was on the East Coast. I was very far away from the gentleman who works on my van. He's on the West Coast. He's literally the only person that I've ever trusted to touch my van because he knows my system in and out. The last year when I was on the East Coast, all the power went out in my van. But this Jackery was what was able to get me through and allow me to stay an extra two months on the East Coast and fulfill my entire trip. So it's an amazing backup system when you have a power failure. It doesn't matter if you're in a sticks and bricks house, which this is also great for, but in vans, RVs, your overlanding setup, this is an amazing power source to use to power everything inside that mobile vehicle. I'm also not a very minimalist consumer user of power. I'm a full-time YouTube creator, so I have camera equipment, I have laptops to charge, I have appliances in here to charge, I have a lot of electronics that need to be charged on a daily basis. Oh, including my phone as well. The Jackery is what really saved me during that time so that I could power all of my normal things, deploy my solar panels when I needed to get more power if I wasn't driving and charging the solar panel. Another thing that I really love about Jackery is the multiple ways that it gives you to charge your power station. One of those is to um, actually not use a paper towel, but if you see me sweating, it's because I am. It's 91% humidity out here in Southern California right now. Glad I charged that van because it is hot. Whew. <sighs> this is real life, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have this DC charger that you can use to power your power station or charge it up while you're driving. So it's really simple, slide this into the cigarette lighter, connect this end right here to your power station, and you've got to charge. The other way to charge your power station is with the solar panels. You can also charge it with shore power using this big old brick that plugs into the AC outlet. You literally just plug the input, one of your two outlets right here. You can also charge it off of your RV or your van. If you already have an inverter in your van with house batteries, then just flip your inverter on and start charging, which is what I'm doing now. 
The most efficient way that I have found to charge my Jackery while I'm driving is to actually plug it into one of my AC outlets in the van, turn on my inverter and charge that way because I'm getting free energy while I'm driving because I have a second alternator that's charging my house batteries. I'm also getting solar on top that's charging my batteries. Plugging it into an AC outlet is the fastest way to charge up your Jackery. The other way that I charge it and the majority of the time is with the solar panel. So when you have a nice sunny day, I throw the solar panels out and it starts charging. It takes a little bit more time to do it that way, but it's still very, very effective. If you're looking to purchase a Jackery and you have more questions that I did not answer in this video, just leave me a comment below and let me know what that question is and I will get to that just as soon as possible. Otherwise, if you're ready to buy a Jackery, make sure you click that link in the description box and use my link because it really, really helps me with my channel. This is what helps pay for my channel and put videos out just like this. No extra cost to you. It's just you clicking a link and getting the latest deal from Jackery. And remember to click that like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. So if you're not tired of me yet, I have this really great video right here that's all about stealth camping and how to do it legally and all the places that you can stealth camp. It's just everything about stealth camping, so click that video right there.